first. If you've never made tamales before, we are here to teach you how. With holiday season comes many traditions in many households. One in particular is food and tamales are a huge staple in a lot of Hispanic households. Today I'm at Cantina Laredo and I'm getting tamale 101 from one of the best chefs in the city. Cantina Laredo in Frisco. We are here and these tamales smell beautiful. Chef, thank you so much for being here. Tell me a bit about Cantina Laredo. Well, Cantina Laredo, we uh, were based here out of Dallas. Uh, we have several locations throughout the country. Here in the DFW area, we have Addison and Frisco and uh, we offer great gourmet modern Mexican food. Tell me a little bit about tamales and holiday season, kind of when you guys have them. So we offer our tamales, both our chicken and our beef tamales throughout the holiday season so you're more than welcome to pre-order and pick up your order and we'll have it ready to go and something that you mentioned is really cool that you guys do at Cantina Laredo is you guys do some tamale classes right tell yes. me a little bit about that okay so we offer tamale classes where you basically learn the art of making homemade tamales from scratch uh, we go from A to Z on putting together these wonderful, uh, delicious uh, tamales. And it, it brings the group together. Yes. If you come in with a family, it brings the family together. If you bring your corporate uh, company, it brings the, it, it's a great team building event, so. What is kind of the steps in the tamales, or what, what are tamales made out of, first of all? Okay, so the foundation, the base is gonna be made with corn masa. That's basically where you get started and um, we have all the ingredients to make the foundation. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix in all the dry ingredients into the corn masa. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start out with the cumin, and just drop it in there just like that. The chicken flavoring, baking powder, salt, and some granulated garlic. Now that you have your dry ingredients mixed in, you wanna put your water, you wanna make sure that your water is warm. And the reason you wanna add warm water is because it'll mix and incorporate the ingredients a lot better than just your regular room temperature water. Then you add your shortening. Beautiful, just like that. Now that all your ingredients are mixed in, you need all the ingredients until you get a texture that's very similar to Play-Doh. Masa is ready to go. Chef, I let you do the first part of the dirty work and now I'm back to assemble the tamales. What is next? Okay, so the next thing <clears throat> that we're gonna do is we're gonna get our masa and we're gonna press it onto the corn husk. Just like that. How's that? <laughs> Perfect. Okay. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to get our corn husk. So what you do is you put it, lay it right down on your tortilla press, just like that. Center it. And then what you're going to do is you're going to get your plastic, because this is what's going to keep it from sticking to the tortilla press. Put it center it just like that. And what you're going to do is slowly press it, engage it. My so family you, is going to be so mad. I've never used a tortilla press before, <laughs> ever. So now that you have that done, now we're going to go ahead and get our protein. We're going to cover it, hug it, just like that. So what you want to do is you want to steam your tamales, roughly about an hour and a half to maybe two hours. And then once it's steamed, you'll realize the tamale is cooked and ready when the masa doesn't stick to the corn husk. I pretty much decided I'm a better tamale eater than I am a maker, but I took some tips home, Chef. I, I don't think I did that bad. What do you think? You got the seal of approval. Okay, right? awesome. Yay, so we are going to taste some tamales, but in the meantime, I want to know how people can find you, some of your locations and websites, aside from the whole tamale thing in Cantina Laredo. Okay, so you can go to uh, cantinalaredo.com, and once you go on our website, you can order your uh, tamales, beef or chicken, and you can also see any other events that we may have lined up in the future. Yeah, and of course, if you guys need some extra guidance on how to get there, I will have the full story on our website at CW33.com.